What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. I'm going to give you the top 10 non-conference games in 2023. And this does not include rivalry games, so you're not going to see Notre Dame versus USC or Clemson versus South Carolina. There are some other big non-conference games, of course, but those are rivalry games. So we're looking at, at just the other non-conference games, the games that we don't see every year. And so let's get right into it, and we'll start at number 10. That's going to be Minnesota at North Carolina. Sneaky good game here. Uh, Minnesota's always got a, a quality team. We can expect them to be solid. Uh, I don't know that they're going to be a, a top 15 team or anything like that. I think North Carolina is a team with a lot more potential, but it's a team that has struggled at times, and especially on the defensive side of the ball, can they stop the run game of Minnesota? They'll be playing at home. They'll be favored in this game. But it's just a game that I think is going to be really competitive. Uh, it's just usually what you get out of Minnesota in these types of games. So I expect Minnesota to run the football, try to, to slow this North Carolina offense down, keep them off the field, and that'll probably be their strategy. North Carolina, of course, is going to try to air it out with Drake May. And but we'll see which, which style winds up winning here. But again, North Carolina playing at home. They should be favored. I think they're the better team. It's just a game that uh, I think will be a close one. Moving on to number nine, Florida at Utah. This will be week one, Thursday night to kick off the season. Uh, really interesting matchup. You know, last year it went down to the wire, came down to the final play. Uh, this year, Utah seems like they're clearly the better team. They're playing at home. Uh, but just looking at the, at the talent, you know, this is still an SEC team in Florida. They've got a talented roster. I'm not expecting them to be great this year, but it's it's just an interesting matchup here. And because of the game, you know, I, think, I thought Utah was a better team last year, but Florida still beat them. Uh, this time again, playing on the road is going to be tougher, but I still think this could be a good game. Um, and it's going to be a, a fun one there on the Thursday night of that first week one. Moving on to number eight, we're going to do Utah again. It's Utah at Baylor. I think this one will actually be more uh, or could be a closer game than that Florida-Utah game. Utah going on the road this time. It gets a sneaky good Baylor team. Uh, maybe not a top 25 team this year, but I don't think they're too far away from that. Uh, were really young last year. They returned their starting quarterback, Blake Shapin, and they've got some weapons around him. Uh, going to be solid on defense. Uh, this is going to be a, a pretty good Baylor team. And again, playing at home right after Utah just had to play Florida. Uh, and credit Utah for playing Florida and Baylor back-to-back non-conference games. Uh, I think this one has a chance to be really, really good. And potentially an upset alert game for Utah. We'll see if they can go on the road and take care of business. Number seven, North Carolina in here for the second time. North Carolina going to be playing South Carolina. Neutral side game to kick off the season. This is a really going to be a really good game. And I am really fascinated with this one. I've been going back and forth with my pick for this game. You know, you look at, at both teams returning their starting quarterbacks. Uh, both teams have a lot of weapons on offense. Both teams have some question marks on defense. I, I just think it's going to be a really fun game, a shootout, uh, one of those games that where it might be whoever has the ball last wins. I mean, it, it's going to be a good one, again, to get there on week one. So North Carolina, South Carolina, We've seen them play in the past a few times recently, and they've had some great games. I think we're going to see another great game here at number seven, North Carolina versus South Carolina. Number six, Texas A&M versus Miami. This is a really big game. I think both of these teams have potential, potential to really turn things around and be top 15 teams this year. And again, I think I'm saying that for Texas A&M and Miami. I think both teams have that potential. The loser of this game, Probably not going to be a top 15 team when you look at, at the rest of their schedules. Uh, but the winner, maybe they are. Maybe even more than that. Maybe they could compete in their conference. Uh, maybe even be a dark horse playoff team. I don't want to go that far. But, uh, again, it could really have a, a good, solid season, whoever wins this game. Whoever loses it, it might be more of the same. Might head them downhill just like last year. So this is a huge game for both of these teams. Um, here in week two and really looking forward to seeing what happens here. You know, I think Texas A&M probably has the better team. I would say definitely have a more talented team. Miami maybe has a little bit more experience. Plus, Miami's playing at home. So this is a tough one to pick. Really one that could go either way. And I think it'll be a really close game in week two. Moving on to number five, Oregon at Texas Tech. This is a game that I think is really flying under the radar. I was, uh, I actually looked up a list of, of top non-conference games before I did my video. 
just to make sure I didn't miss something. Um, and I, I found another list. This game was number 13 on that list. And I was like, what? This is a this is a huge game. We're talking about potentially a top 25 matchup. I, I think, and this is nothing against Oregon. This is all because I think Texas Tech is going to be a good team. And I think people are underrating them. Oregon's the real deal. I, I believe Oregon's going to be a really, really good team. But they're going to go on the road and face another good team in Texas Tech. I don't expect this to be an easy win for Oregon. I expect it to be a very tough, hard-fought game that will come down to the wire. And I think Texas Tech is absolutely capable, especially playing at home, of pulling off the upset here. So I think this is a big game in Week 2. And if Oregon loses this game, you can probably forget the college football playoff because they've got a gauntlet in the Pac-12, and I don't know if they can get through the rest of that without a loss. So... A huge game, huge opportunity for Texas Tech. A really tough challenge for Oregon. I think that's going to be a big, big game there. Number four, Notre Dame at Clemson. And this one will be later in the season, week 10. And this is also a huge game. Uh, there's a chance Clemson is undefeated at this point. Notre Dame might be undefeated if they can get past Ohio State. Uh, so you could have a, a top 10 showdown here, maybe even a top five showdown. This will obviously be a huge, huge game. Um, I, you know, it's possible both teams come in here with a loss, but still, I think you're looking at a top 12 matchup. Uh, this this is absolutely going to be a big one uh, when you talk about the college football playoff. Obviously, it's not going to affect any conference races or anything, but I think both teams will at least still be in the conversation for the college football playoff at this time. Maybe they're not in the at, at the top. Maybe they're not in the top five or, or one of the front runners, but they're going to be in the conversation. And so the loser of this game probably going to be eliminated. Uh, just a huge matchup here in week four. We've got some big games this year, uh, both in the non-conference and conference games as well. But let's move on to number three, Texas-Alabama. This one will be week two. This will be a huge matchup here. Uh, the list that I mentioned a second ago that had Oregon-Texas Tech at number 13 actually had this game at number one. Uh, I don't quite have it that high, but it is a huge game. Uh, it's, it's not... I would say it's not a must win for either team necessarily, maybe for Alabama. Uh, Texas can afford to lose this game. If they win the rest of their games, they're going to be right there in the college ball playoff. Um, so because of that, maybe not as big of a game for them. Alabama, they could they could be okay with a loss here, but winning out is going to be tough. They have a very tough schedule in the SEC, and then, of course, you got to play the SEC championship. So this is one that Alabama cannot lose playing at home. They've got to take care of business. But you just look back to last year, and that game, Texas had Alabama on the ropes. And when Quinn Ewers was in there, they were really attacking this Alabama defense, making some big plays. Of course, he got injured, and that kind of changed things. I still believe if he had not gotten hurt, uh, Texas would have won that game. Now, Texas, I don't think, has is going to have as good of a defense this year. And so it'll be just a really interesting matchup here. Alabama, I still think, is the more talented team, the better team. But are they going to, you know, who's going to be their quarterback? They're not going to have much time to figure it out because this is a week two game. And it's one that I think is going to be. A very competitive game. Really looking forward to that one. Number two is Ohio State Notre Dame. A week four, uh, another huge game here for Notre Dame. Another big opportunity for them. This time they get Ohio State at home. Yeah, they have to play Clemson on the road, but they get Ohio State at home, and I think they're capable of potentially pulling off this win, pulling off an upset here. Uh, they really went toe to toe with Ohio State for the most part last year in Columbus. Ohio State's going to have a new quarterback, which they will have a, a three games before this. To kind of get things rolling so that's that's the good news for ohio state i think ohio state's the better team but again you're playing on the road tough environment um it's a, a clash of styles here notre dame's going to really try to run the football slow it down and we'll see you know can sam hartman pull off a big win here for the irish i think uh, you know this is another game that i'm having a hard time picking i'm really going back and forth have not made my decision yet uh, it's really a game that i think can go either way number one though is florida state lsu the game of the year, in my opinion, in the non-conference. Week one, Sunday night, all the, the spotlight's going to be here on this game. Neutral site game. Last year's game was amazing. Uh, one of the best games of the year. Maybe the best game of the year. Came down to the wire, of course, that blocked extra point. Won the game for Florida State. I think both teams are better than they were when they, a lot better than they were when they played last year. Uh, that remember that was just week one they got better as the season progressed and then in the offseason both of these teams got better with the transfer portal uh, this is legitimately a top five matchup in my opinion uh, potentially both teams win or lose could be in the playoff after this but 
it's going to be tough. You lose a game this early in the season, yeah, you still have plenty of time to recover, but you can't really afford another loss. So this is this is a huge, huge game in terms of the college football playoff picture. And like I said, I believe that both of these teams are legitimate contenders. I think they're both top five teams. And this is going to just be a monumental game to kick off the season. Cannot wait. Another game that I haven't picked yet. I've really gone back and forth trying to make a decision. Um, it's tough because I think both teams are really, really good. And this is the game that I am most looking forward to in the non-conference. LSU, Florida State, in my opinion, the best non-conference game of 2023. Do you guys agree? Do you disagree? Give me your thoughts down in the comments below.